Having five freshmen come in who are pretty confident and they were all early decision kids, so they kind of bonded even last year as seniors and post grads and our guys have been really welcoming of them. I think the best thing that's happened to us in terms of our program is that, you know, in the past, like maybe people would be worried about playing time and I think at this point we're just competing for playing time. Habs and Coach B and the rest of those guys have started to kind of build a brand here at Babson and I think that's going to carry through. Obviously, they've done a hell of a job in recruiting. We lost five big pieces of our team, obviously 2,000 point scorers, a grad transfer, one of the best three-point shooters I've ever seen, and obviously Chris Lowry, who's you know, close to irreplaceable. But they've, they've done an excellent job in recruiting these freshmen, and we, you know, we just have a lot of talent at this point. Right now, we're just trying to figure ourselves out, you know, because there are so many new faces, and I think there's a lot of people who have a lot to prove even in the sophomore and junior class in terms of becoming consistent contributors to the program and, and understanding themselves like how they are going to be best prepared on game day to be at their optimal best. For this group, a lot of us view last year as sort of a disappointment. Even though you know we had a winning record and got all the way to the you know conference finals, we definitely want to form our own identity and we want to. We all have something to prove, obviously on an individual level. But those guys didn't get to play on that championship team, so they have something to prove. I got something to prove with somebody who transferred here. Obviously, the freshmen, we all want to win. We honor that team that you know put the banner up, obviously. But, you know, it's, this is 2018, 2019, it's a completely different team. I think for us, it's just a more, can we set a standard of consistency on a day-to-day -day basis? And, and understand that if you're playing one way in practice and then making the game out to be the Super Bowl, that's really a poor construct as far as your opportunity for success. I think that they need to look at every day as a game day and, you know, let's, let's create a level of play that is, you know, as high as we can make it and and then on game day it's not gonna be a surprise how hard we play. I know like for us we're just looking to treat everybody like they're the exact same opponent and uh, make sure that we come out and we play hard and we give energy and do all the things that's gonna uh, help us win against every team. Not just not just the big teams we play, obviously we play a great schedule and we're gonna treat every team like you know they're, they're deserving of our attention because that's how we're gonna win. We haven't really talked anything about the league because we're just trying to get through today. You know, I know that that's very cliche in terms of the one day at a time, but if you ask one of the freshmen, well, you know, how are you going to do against Springfield? I mean, they've never even been to their gym. I think, you know, you just kind of deal with what you have control over and that's right now.